Welcome, beautiful people, to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne Marie, and in this week's class, we are going to be having a little bit more of a cardio class. So the pace is going to be slightly faster, and um, not so much focus on the alignment of the body. Not that it's not important. I just want us to explore, you know, moving with the breath, getting that cardio feel in, and um, that's it. So if you have any questions or comments at the end of the class, please leave them um, below the video and I will get right back to you. Enjoy the class, everybody. Let's get started. So you can just head over to the top of your mats. Feet hip width, arms to the sides. And let's just do a little bit of deep breathing before we get moving. So through the nose, start by exhaling all the air. And then breathe in for one, two, three, four. Hold at the top. And through the nose as well, exhale for four, three, two, one. Repeat. Inhale deeply, filling the lungs all the way to the top. Hold for a second. And then exhale through the nose, emptying the air, bringing the navel in towards the spine, exhaling, exhaling, exhaling. Once more, inhale through the nose. Imagine you're filling not only your lungs, but your body with air. Hold at the top. And exhale. Completely, completely, completely forcing the air out. Two more times. Inhale. Deeply, fully. Bringing life into all of the body. Hold at the top. And exhale completely through the nose. Letting go of any tensions. Last time. Inhale. Biggest breath yet. Fill the lungs. Inhale, hold, and exhale, emptying completely the lungs. And let's get started. Again, exhale the air through the nose. And as you inhale, bring the arms up. Look up, stretch the chest, exhale, back bend. Inhale, come up, exhale, bend from the hips, straight arms and back, arms down, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, exhale, plant the hands, right foot back, right, right knee on the mat, top of the right foot on the mat. Inhale, lift the arms and head up. Exhale, let the hips sink down low. Again, inhale, look up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands forward. Tuck the toes and left foot back. Plank. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. Go down all the way or stop halfway. Inhale. Push up into a cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. And as you exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands, left knee on the floor, top of the left foot on the floor. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, sink the hips down low into the low lunge. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands forward, bring the left foot forward. Grab your heels from behind. Bend the knees, tummy on the, on the thighs. Inhale, stretch and lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward bend. Extend the legs. Shoulders away from the ears. Don't crunch the shoulders. 
go gently here. We're still in the very beginning of the class. And breathe in here. And exhale as you extend the legs one last time. Now bend the knees as you inhale, stretch the arms forward with, in line with the ears, and then inhale, come back all the way up. Look up, exhale, back bend, push the hips forward, chest up. Inhale, come back up, exhale, bend forward again, arms with the ears, hands on the mat, forehead to the, knee, to the knees. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, left knee on the mat, top of the left foot on the mat. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, back bend, push the hips forward, chest up. Inhale, come back up straight, exhale. Hands forward, tuck the left toes, bring the right foot back into plank. Inhale here, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push forward and up into an upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one, inhale, stretch the left leg up one last time. And as you exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands, plant the right knee, top of the left, right foot on the mat. Inhale, stretch the arms and head up. Exhale, bend down the hips. Inhale, stretch up, look up. Exhale, back bend, open the heart. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, plant the hands and bring the right foot forward. Bend the knees, grab your heels from behind. Chest and belly on the hips. Inhale, stretch the spine, shoulders up and away from the ears. Exhale, forward bend. Contract the thighs, extend the legs. Don't contract your shoulders. Let the head hang loose. Don't lose the contact between the hips and the thighs, or the chest and the thighs, I should say. Very nice. Bend the knees, inhale, bring the arms against the ears, and just come all the way up. Exhale, bring the hands down to the side. Now bring the feet together, working towards Surya Namaskara A, classic sun salutation. So exhale all of the air, through your nose, inhale. Stretch the arms up sideways this time. Look up, palms together. You can do a slight back bend if that feels good. Exhale, bend from the hips. Stretch the arms to each side. Hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back, shoulders up. Exhale, plant the hands, walk or jump back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push forward and up, upward facing dog. Make sure your shoulders are back. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch the right leg up, bend the knees, open the hip. Right hip on top of the left hip. And let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. And as you exhale, bring the right knee to the chest, pivot the left heel on the mat, balance on your right arm, left arm up. So either you're putting your right foot on the mat or just bringing it up. Inhale here. As you exhale, plant the left hand, go back up into three-legged downward dog. And as you exhale, bring the right foot forward between the mat into a high lunge. Inhale, bring the arms and head up. Exhale, hips down low, pushing in through the left heel. Inhale, stretch up, look up if you can. Exhale, try to do a slight back bend or just stay where you are. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, plant the hands. 
Bring the left foot forward. Forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down, forehead to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up, flat back, stretching the arms to the sides. Palms together, look up. Exhale, bring the hands down in Namaskara. And then to each side of the body. Repeat, inhale, stretch the arms up to the sides. Palms together, slight back bend if you can. Exhale, bend from the hips, back straight. Hands down, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, walk or jump back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, push forward and up, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch the left leg up, bend the knee, stack the left hip on top of the right hip. And stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, stretch the left leg up. And as you exhale, go into plank, pivot the right heel on the mat, bring the right arm up, side plank on the other side, either with your left foot up or just down on the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right hand on the mat. Go back into three-legged downward dog. Inhale. And as you exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands. Inhale, come up into a high lunge. Exhale, bend the hips down low. Inhale, stretch up. Look up if you can, just to test your balance. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, come up. Exhale, plant the hands and bring the right foot forward to a forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat, forehead to the knees. Inhale, come all the way up. Flat back, palms together, slight back bend if possible. Exhale, bring the hands down in Namaskara, arms to the side. Take a small pause here just to notice the effects of the sun salutations we've just done. <clears throat> Very good. And let's continue on with Surya Namaskar B. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, bend the knees, touch the tips of the fingertips on the mat and come up into a chair, Utkatasan. Exhale, forward bend. Hands on the ground, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, walk or jump back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pivot the right heel to the inside of your mat. Inhale and bring the left foot forward between the hands. Inhale again and come up to warrior one. Exhale. Let's stay here just a couple of seconds. Make sure you're pushing that right hip as much as possible forward. Left thigh parallel to the ground. The knee never going beyond the heel. Back leg, arch is lifted, the leg extended. Just tummy in, chest up arms up. Inhale, look up, exhale, plant the hands, left foot back into plank. Inhale, exhale, go down into chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pivot the left heel this time to the center of your mat. Inhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. On your next inhale, bring the arms and body up. Exhale, come down into warrior one. You're looking straight ahead or upward. Hips low. Push that left heel, hip forward. Right thigh parallel to the mat. 
the knee directly over your right ankle. Left leg completely extended, lifting through the arch of the foot. Stomach in, chest up. Inhale, stretch up one last time. Exhale, plant the hands. Bring the right foot back into plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, come up into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent. Inhale, look forward between the hands, bend the knees, jump or walk. Flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, forehead to the shins. Inhale, bend the knees, come up into chair. Utkatasan, look up. Exhale, stand up, Tadasan, and just bring the arms to the side. Super, let's repeat one more of those <laughs> with different variations, of course. Exhale through the nose, inhale, bend the knees, brush the tips of the fingertips on the mat, and then come up into chair. In chair, make sure you're not sticking your bum out, so you're tucking your tailbone towards the ground, belly in, chest up. Try to bring your arms in line with your ears. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, plant the hands on the ground, forward bend, forehead to the knees. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, jump or walk back into plank. From here, we're gonna do another series of side plank. Okay, so just pivot your heels. Let's pivot the heels to the left to begin with. Lift the right arm up. Okay, make sure your shoulder is directly over your wrist. You're either looking straight or looking up. Your arms forming a perfect T-shape. Your hips are not down low, so you're pushing your hips up, sucking your belly in. You can stay here, or if you want an additional challenge, Try lifting your right foot off of the mat. From here, bring your right foot behind you as high up as possible on the floor. Push the hips up, push the chest up, and bring your right arm over your head. Palm facing the ground. Reverse. Inhale here. Exhale, plant the right hand back into push up. And just leave, bring the right foot back. So you're in plank position again. Let's do the other side. Now pivot your heels to the right. Left arm up. Either looking up or straight ahead. Just check your alignment for a second. Make sure your shoulder is directly over your wrist. Pressing your fingers also into that right hand into the mat. Now for those of you that wish to do so, lift your left leg up. And then bring your foot behind you on the floor as high as possible. Push into that right foot, chest up, and bringing your left arm just over. Palm facing the ground. Take one last inhale. As you exhale, bring the left hand back and just go back into plank. Very good. From here, we're gonna do a little bit of push-up work, okay? So yogi push-up. As you inhale, come down into chaturanga. So 90 degrees with your arms. Exhale, push-up. Let's do three more. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, push-up. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, push-up. One last time. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, push-up. Very good. <laughs> We're gonna do it one more time because we need to do the vinyasa. So inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, upward facing dog. Inhale here and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a break here, you guys. So just take the time to get adjusted into your downward facing dog. Your body's warmed up now. So you should feel more comfortable in the posture. Notice how, well, if you aren't breaking a sweat already, I certainly am. <laughs> so it's good. Okay. So it's good to learn to use the downward facing dog as a recuperation posture. Okay. 
Your downward facing dog is your foundation. Okay. Now take a nice inhale. Bend the knees, look forward, and jump between the hands, or walk if you can't do that, to a flat back. Exhale, hands down, forehead to the knees. Inhale, bend the knees, brush the tips of the fingertips on the mat, go up into chair, and exhale, bring the hands down in namaskara, and the arms to each side of the body. Very good. Okay, let's just do a few more static postures, but without you losing the momentum of the cardio, this cardio yoga. So inhale, bring the hands in namaskar in front of your chest. Exhale, step to your right, four feet. Bring the left toes in. Inhale, arms parallel to the floor. Pivot the right toes to the right, 90 degrees. Make sure your heels are in one line. Inhale, stretch the chest up. Exhale, bend to the right. When you can't bend anymore, just pivot your arms. Make sure you're not shriveling your shoulders forward. So shoulders open, chest open, look up. Both arms completely extended. Yes. Both legs completely contracted. Lifting the inner arches of the feet. Super. From here, look down. Start bending the right knee. Okay, so if you have a block handy, you might need a block. If not, you can just try with your hand. So bending the right knee. Try to, when one, with one move, lift your left leg up off of the floor. So as you inhale, Lift up. Very good. So balancing on the right leg, right leg fully extended, thighs contracted, left leg parallel to the floor. You're trying to open the hips so the hips are perpendicular to the floor. Bring your left arm up. Very good. And you can start looking upwards to test your balance. Very good. Let's just stay here for three, two, one. As you exhale, bend the right knee and let's try to bring our left foot back onto the mat. Boop. So we're gonna stick our landing with the right knee bent because we're going into warrior two. So as you inhale, just bring the arms up parallel to the mat, and we are now in warrior two. Flip the right palm up, inhale, reverse the warrior. So left arm back on the thigh, stretching up your chest, making a nice straight line, belly in, tailbone towards the ground. One last time, inhale, stretch back. And as you exhale, Let's bring the right hand in front of the right foot, the left arm up, okay, into Parshva Konasana. Keep the hips low, push that right hip forward, left hip back, arms perpendicular to the floor. Very good. If you need a block, obviously put a block underneath your hand. From here, you can come up onto the fingertips and see if you can extend that right leg again. So into Utita Trikonasan, but with the fingertips touching the ground if you can. Very good. Inhale, stretch out, stretch up, chest out. And as you exhale, just bring both of the hands on the mat and pivot 90 degrees to your left. Bring the right toes in, feet four and a half feet distance. So we're gonna go into Prasarita Parotadasana, forward bend with the legs separated. You never wanna have your feet outside in a V in this position, so make sure your toes are just slightly tucked in, your hips just over your heels, and let's just bend from the hips here. I don't want you to pull or anything, I just want you to 
work on contracting your thighs, pushing that tailbone up towards the sky, pushing on the outsides of the feet to lift the inner arches, belly in, relax your head, relax your shoulders, and breathe through the nose. Very good. From here, bring the arms parallel to the mat, off of the ground, and on your next inhale, while contracting your abs, come up with a straight back. Very good. Now pivot the toes to the left. So we're gonna do the same sequence, but on the left side. Make sure your heels are in one line, hips parallel, arms parallel to the floor. Inhale, stretch the spine up. As you exhale, stretch to your left. And when you can't stretch any further, pivot the arms. So thighs contracted. Be wary, those of you that have hyperextension in the knees, to not overextend the knees. You wanna feel like the muscles around the knees are being contracted. Both legs extended, shoulders out. Inhale here, stretch out. Feel that nice stretch in the right side of the body. And as you exhale, you can just pivot your, look to the left, to the ground. Start bending your left knee. And again, we're just gonna propulse our body forward, okay? Into warrior three. So, hand forward. And as you inhale, push forward. Bring the right foot up. Yes. Extend the leg, the left leg. Both legs extended, you're aiming to make a nice 90 degree with your, with your legs, thighs contracted. Right arm up. You can look on the floor, but if you want to test your balance, you can start bringing your, your, um, your eyes <laughs> looking forward or even towards the sky. Very good. And slowly from here, we're just gonna bend the left knee and come back to stick the landing into warrior two. So a little right leg far back. Inhale, bring the arms parallel to the floor. And there we are, we are in warrior two. Belly in, chest up. Left palm up, inhale, reverse the warrior. I'm looking up towards my hand here. Chest out towards the sky. Tailbone pointing towards the ground. One last inhale here, stretch up and back. And as you exhale, bring the left hand inside the right foot. Right arm up into Parvakonasana. I'm gonna stay here for a second. Contracting the thighs, lifting the inner arches of the foot. Left hip pushing forward, right hip pushing back. And you can just come up on the fingertips. Start testing if you can extend that left leg. Still with the right arm up. Inhale here. As you exhale, you can bring the right arm down. Pivot 90 degrees to the right. Again, bring the toes in. Make sure your heels are in one line. Legs extended, belly in. Inhale, extend the spine. And as you exhale, come all the way down. So just let your head dangle. What I want you to work on is just bringing more weight into the toes, hips directly on top of your heels, and relax. Excellent. Now inhale. Press the hands below the shoulders to make a flat back. And this time, pivot your heels inward. Okay, so toes out, heels in. Sink those hips down low. And just inhale and come up. So this is a, the goddess position. So I want you to push your hips forward, knees back. Lift those inner arches of the feet. Bring, interlace your fingers, 
in the back of your neck, okay? And we're just gonna work in this position, doing some side bends. So inhale, spine tall. Exhale, bend to the left, see if you can touch elbow to knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend to the right, elbow to knee. Inhale, come back up. Let's do the sequence two more times. So to the left, inhale as you come up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, come up. Last round, exhale to the left. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, come up. Arms parallel to the ground. Sink down low one last time. Inhale, stretch the legs, come all the way up. And just walk your feet inward. We're gonna go down into a yogi squat. Okay, so feet a little bit wider than your hips, if need be. Arms in namaskar. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, go down with a straight spine. Heels touching the ground. And come down as low as you can. Triceps on the inner thighs. Back straight. We're gonna stay here for one minute, okay? So, <laughs> If your mind's already gone, what? We're sitting here for one minute. Don't worry, you can do it. Sometimes it's mind over matter. And if you start with the idea that you can't do it, for sure you're not gonna be able to do it. So just, rather than saying, that's way too long, just say, okay, I'm gonna try it. And really, if I feel like I can't take it any longer, then I'm just gonna back out and that's fine too. And this is it in yoga, it's about like knowing your true limit because sometimes the mind sets a limit that is much earlier than your actual limit. Work with the breath here. One nice last inhale. And as you exhale, let's try to sit down without using our hands. Very good. <laughs> okay, from here, let's go into Baddha Konasana. So more hip opening, hip stretching. Bring your heels, your palms of your feet together and bring in your heels as close as into your, to your pubic area as you feel you can. I mean, if your knees are really high, obviously you wanna go further. If you feel comfortable, you can bring your heels in closer, interlace your 10 fingers and just grab your toes like so. Try to keep your back straight. And before we go any further, just rock your, knees from one side to the other. See how far you can go. Maybe your shins, your calf muscles are, not your shins, but your calf muscles are touching the mat at this point. Okay. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, bend forward. If you can't bend forward, just stay where you are. I'm just giving you options. Let your head relax if you are bending forward. You can also use your elbows to sort of push down gently. Uh, always respecting the limits and using the breath to keep those hips as open as possible. One last inhale in position. Exhale. As you inhale, come back all the way up. Very good. You can use your hands to bring your knees in. Let's just do a little bit of windshield washer movements just to close in those hips. Okay. Well, let's turn 90 degrees to the left. Keep the left leg extended. Bend the right knee. So you want to make sure that going into this, um, this position that you want to keep your uh, right foot completely extended towards the back. Okay? You don't want to have your foot in sort of a duck shape like this. So depending on the quality and the status of your knees, this may be a very demanding uh,
posture for you. So this is the hero pose, as we call it. Um, so please be wary of your knees. So as we're winding down the class, um, use the breath and just respect your limits, especially when it comes to the knees. Okay. So on this side, I've had a previous injury, which I've resolved largely through um, regular yoga practice, but it's still, you know, a little sensitive some days. So I'm just going to stay here for today. Okay. For those that are very comfortable, you can just come back on your, on your elbows. This is possible as well. But the idea is, you know, if one of your hips is higher than the other, which is the case for myself, perhaps it's preferable to stay in a sitting posture and just work gently on bringing and pressing that right hip uh, bone into the mat. But this type of posture is very good for the knees, okay? So I've fixed, like I said, a large part of my knee injury just by doing these types of posture. So don't neglect it. Um, you shouldn't be feeling any sort of electricity happening through the knee. If that's the case, don't do it. Especially have pain inside of the knee, on the inside. You want to be especially careful of these postures, okay? So just go with caution, use the breath. And we're just compressing the knee joint. And when we're going to release, it's going to bring an extra flush of extra inflow of blood. Um, which just cleans the, the joint and helps it recuperate um, the youth. Okay, let's bring, unfold the right leg, bring it forward, and let's do the same thing on the left side. So bend the left knee, make sure your left foot is completely extended. And again here, we're respecting the body and the alignment in these postures. So if you're all the way sitting out like so. Um, if you have a block or a cushion, you can always use that. But if it feels good, well, you know, you can always try to lean in back. On this side, it's much better for me, but I feel like it's important to always respect the weaker side of the body, as I've mentioned in other classes. So I'm just gonna stay here and chill and breathe. Okay, let's unfold the knee and let's make our way onto our backs. So progressively tuck in the tailbone. You can keep your arms forward, but I want you to work on unraveling the spine one vertebrae at a time. Okay, so that doesn't make like a poom, like a blot. You don't abruptly come down onto your mat. This may be very, very easy for you or difficult as it is the case for me. So you're working on your abs, tucking the tailbone in, and just rolling gently on your back as best as you can. Okay, bridge pose. Bring your heels in underneath your knees, arms to the side. Make sure that your collarbones and your trapeze muscles are as far away from your ears as possible. Hands on the side, palms facing the ground. Inhale, and as you exhale, lift the hips up, hips up, hips up. Interlace the fingers below your body and just tuck in your shoulders below, okay? So you're actually pushing your shoulders towards your heels. Make sure that your heels and your feet stay parallel, knees parallel, okay? As if you were squeezing an orange or a huge grapefruit between the knees. Now push your chest towards your chin, hips up, contract those thighs. Let's stay here for 10 more seconds. So just breathe into it, dig those heels in, see if you can push up the hips a little bit higher, bring the chest towards your chin, look towards your chest, inhale one last time. And before you come down, just bring the hands flat on the back. If you want, you can raise your heels and unroll the spine one vertebrae at a time. Good. Extend the legs. We're gonna do Pavamukhtasana. Leave the left leg extended, bend the right knee, interlace the 10 fingers, grab the shin just below the knee, 
Make sure all of your spine, especially your lower spine, is touching the ground. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring the knee in towards the chest. Shoulders on the mat. Look towards your navel. Left leg stays extended. Toes up, as if you were standing up. Just feel that nice compression created in the right hip. Massaging the ascending colon. This is very good for our internal organs, this sequence of postures that we've just started, Pavamuktasana. Breathe. And gently release. Bend the left knee. Interlace the 10 fingers just below the knee on the shin. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring the knee in. Make sure that you're not lifting one hip higher than the other, so you're actually pushing your left hip downward. Right leg extended, toes facing the sky. Look towards your navel, flatten the shoulders onto the mat. This time around we're massaging the descending colon. And release. Bring both knees in towards the chest. If you can, grab your elbows. If you can't, just grab your forearms, your wrists, whatever you can. Make sure your feet are equal. And when you're ready, just start pulling in those knees towards the chest. And as you're doing that, stretch your shoulders away from your ears. Press your shoulders down towards the mat. Try also to flatten the bottom of the spine so your tailbone onto the mat. And gently release. Just for one, for 10 seconds here. Notice the effect of the blood flush after we compress the hips. Feels so good. Okay. So spine twist, laying down. Just bring your feet on the mat, first of all, and just scoot your bum over to the right side. From here, cross your right leg over to on top of the, right, the left leg. You can just stay like this, but if you can also cross your right foot behind your left calf, even better. Bring your arms parallel to the mat, to the floor, parallel to your shoulders. Inhale, bring the knees into the chest, and as you exhale, flip to the left. Let the knees fall over to the left and look to the right. Try keeping both of your shoulders in contact with the mat in priority. Inhale, bring the knees back up, uncross the legs, feet on the mat. This time, scoop, scoot your bum over to the left side a little bit. Cross your left leg over your right. Tuck the toes behind the calf if possible. Inhale, bring the knees to the chest. As you exhale, let the knees go over to the right. Try to keep both shoulders in contact with the floor in priority. As you inhale, bring the knees back up and cross the legs. If you want, you can just give yourself one nice last big hug. Bring the knees in towards the forehead. And then just extend the legs. 
Let the arms fall to the sides, palms of the hands facing to the sky. Shavasana. Well done, everyone. Well done. Relax your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your shins. Your calves. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Relax your abdomen. Relax your chest. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. All the way to the fingertips. Relax your neck, your throat. Relax your jaw. Relax your ears. Relax your eyes. Relax your forehead. Relax the mind. Bring your attention towards the heart. And let it fill with love and gratitude. yourself for having taken time out of your busy schedule yourself Just start moving the tips of your fingers your toes Bring awareness back into the body. And open your eyes. And just take a second to turn over to your right side. Pause. And then gently come back into sitting. I hope you both enjoyed the class. Had a lot of fun, so thank you for watching. Again, leave any comments or questions you may have at the bottom of the video. It'll be my pleasure to get back to you. Namaste.